Hey everyone, so you will probably come across some people, maybe today, maybe this week, maybe this month, but the Lord will have you come across people to minister the word to them. So either telling them that Jesus loves them or ministering something to them out of the word, what you believe that God wants them to hear. He might want you to pray for them. The word says to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Maybe they need some prayer. Maybe they need some hands laid on them. Maybe they need some anointing oil. There's so many things that we can do to minister to people and to give of the Lord's love and to show his love to to the people sometimes it's just a hug like there's always something that we can give to people and so in these times there'll be people that don't want it at all so what do you do when somebody totally resists what you are saying like you're talking to a brick wall and you're not getting through do not get discouraged number one don't get discouraged it's okay not everybody is ready to hear some things not everybody is at the place where they want to understand or that they're even open they could have a very hard heart so any type of ministry that you do for them or try to help them mark chapter 4 is a good parable to look at the sower sows the word okay so we are sowers and we sow the word and we share the gospel and we share what God wants us to give to people there is opportunity to have one little seed one little something that you could say that could adjust one little thing in their heart and cause them to ever so slightly turn to the Lord in one area, you know, very slight. And then somebody else could come along and, and do that again. And then the Lord, after a while, like he, he softens the heart until they're totally open to receive. And then it's all, it all takes time. Keep the Holy Spirit's voice very key in this because some of them can't take much at all. It's like trying to jam a, a big piece of steak down somebody's throat or it just doesn't like cut it up you know smaller chunks smaller bites the word talks about it like when you're a christian when you just get saved like there's just the milk of the word that you can manage like there's so much to learn about god and there's so much to grow in so just take it a day at a time take little chunks here and there because we can look at like this might be a rabbit trail but we can look at pastors and spiritual leaders and people that have been in faith for years and decades and we can be like oh man they know the like the greek and the hebrew they've been to bible college they've been to university they have how many letters behind their name they've been in ministry for this long like don't compare yourself to them your relationship with the lord is entirely unique so don't get discouraged by that just take each day that comes just take your daily bread as the lord calls it and so when we come across these people that are just like, well, I don't want to hear it. And then they walk away from you or something like, don't worry about it. Some people are just so resistant to the gospel. It's not your fault. And the devil will hammer you with things and be like, oh yeah, you said the wrong thing or you should have said this. And I can't believe you did that. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Just say, praise the Lord and go on to the next person. And if you can go up to somebody and be like, hey, do you mind if I pray for you? Like most people receive prayer pretty well. Like if you say, hey, can is there anything that I can pray for? Um, usually people are pretty open to that but just take a day at a time one revelation at a time one revelation out of the word that's like oh, you know what the Lord showed me this can I share with you something and not coming at them as like I'm going to teach you this entire 45 minute sermon and you have to listen to me no 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 what does God want you to share with him or maybe it's your time to not talk at all and maybe it's your time to listen to what they have to say so be in tune be aware of who you're talking to. Take whoever you're with and inquire of the Lord while you're having a conversation with the person. Lord, is there something here that I should say? Is there something here that I should do? Would you help me? Would you give me the words? And if you don't know what to do, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're, we're all growing, but we are Christians. We are witnesses to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are here on this earth to pour into people and to be the Lord's hands and feet. So wherever you are, don't be afraid. Don't get discouraged after strike one. Please don't get discouraged after strike one and even strike three. Just keep going. Don't ever quit. Don't ever stop sowing the word. Don't ever stop telling people that Jesus loves them because this gospel is going to be preached through the entire earth and then we get to go home because Jesus is coming back. So anyway, just want to encourage you with that. If there's somebody out there that's just like you totally got shut down and you're like, wow, I'm never going to do that again. Nope. Just keep getting back up and keep sowing the word keep talking about god's love because he loves people so so much and he wants all to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth